Let's watch Min Lei's game. Two out of two. Actually, Min Lei's kind of misplayed this. He is winning still, but there's Queen D4. Eh, I mean, King H2. He's still winning, but he's eh, he's misplayed this just a little bit. Queen A7, of course. Queen A8, maybe. You get an Econ Greg for the uh, for the raid with 65. Thank you so much to Econ Greg. Bishop F1, only move. Why is he thinking? Only move. Bishop G2. Queen F8. Still very tricky endgame here for Minlay. He's very lucky that the black that white got stuck there for a second. Queen! Oh! Oh! Anyway, you guys, we're gonna be starting in. We're starting right now. So let's go knight f3. Yeah, it's it's not even it's not even so much like it, it's it's just a very weird intraday unless like the Fed or somebody says something bad. Go e5. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go here and take very very smooth position. I like it. it was f6. That's a little bit weird. I think. I don't think it's so good here. I mean, if he takes, I take with an. I don't. I don't really like this for black. This looks very sketchy. I mean, let me think for a second. Because again, this is Title Tuesday. We'll want to be sharp. I can take with a pawn. I'm gonna take with a knight. Um. I mean, this looks very wrong somehow. Let's go queen e2. I'm gonna castle, of course. Maybe I don't have to castle, I guess. But we'll see. This looks very bad. Okay, I'm gonna go c3. Consolidate the chain. 97. Very, very peculiar. I'm gonna go here. I don't believe him at all. I think he's playing just a bad opening. I mean, I have bishop f4. I mean, this looks awful for black. This looks horrible. Let's go here just the bishop on a safe square i mean i guess he has knight h5 or some nonsense but i can always just castle even queen d2 is fine but let's let's think for a second i'm gonna castle i'll give knight a four because i can just take i can also take e7 maybe let's go knight a four so i take and now i take of course attack the bishop and i think i'm just up a pawn and take h7 here and I can also go to e2. I'm just going to play the safe way with queen e2 and g3, I guess. It seems pretty safe here. Go knight g5. Knight e6 is a big threat. Knight g5 was kind of a... Eh, not the best move ever, but it's okay. Knight f8. Now I can play g3. Now let's go g3. Remove the rook. And go like rook e1. Knight f3, of course. And now, I mean, I should just be much better here. Maybe not cleanly winning, but much better. All right, let's see. So I'm going to play King G2 here. Oh, it's China. That's oh, it's just China. Okay. Okay, it's China. That's what sent the market tanking. Okay, only 3.5k people today. I mean, my stream has been up and down all day long. I'm going to meme here, even though I shouldn't. Because that's just kind of the day it's been. No, I, my, my stream has gone up and down, you guys. It, 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 I've, I've been disconnected three times already today. And as people know, when you get disconnected, um, what happens is... When, when you get disconnected your viewership all vanishes and then you have to build it back up again which is why generally when you when when people get disconnected they don't reboot their stream um because it's so it's so frustrating you're just like what what, what am i doing even those queen a5 i mean a3 is just completely knight g5 is actually a free pawn but you know what i don't want to give away anything on the queen side okay take I don't understand what my opponent's doing. He's just giving away his whole king side. But yeah, we we're somewhere near, and we we're again, as usual, near like eight and a half, nine K. Uh, let's go here. 96 next move should just be winning. I guess I'll, um, I don't know why I did this actually. I'm, I'm a little bit perplexed as to why I tried to meme here. There's no need for it. So let's just go here, I guess. Pin the rook. Uh, Bishop G6, maybe. I'll refresh the page till you're back, buddy. Yeah, thank you to um, thank you to Dest Destro for the eight months. Thanks so much, to Destro. Appreciate. It. But yeah, like I said, you guys, if my internet dies, like I'm probably just done for the day. Just so you guys know. Okay, I go here. I hit the rook. 
Like my internet dies during one of these early games, like, and I just get a loss. I'll probably be calling it a day, and I'll just come back tomorrow morning. Um, hopefully that doesn't happen, but but if it does, just I'm just giving you guys advance notice. I think I just take. I have rook, rook f8, and I just win. I guess he has king e7, but I just go back. I think I'm just gonna go here, probably just consolidate. Uh, I think I just run the pawn up the board. Yeah, I think this is winning. Here in h6. Not even worried about the pawn because my knight covers the square. So knight covers, and I'm just pushing the pawn. It's a very thematic win here. He resigns. Okay, we got the first win. First win up, one up, one down. Yeah, it's, it's a good start. Thank you, Joel Volger, for the three months. Because certainly, yeah, I'm, I'm in a, uh, I, I gained zero points or something. Yeah, I, I'm in a pretty, pretty sour mood at the moment. I'm not going to lie. Oh, Grishuk lost. Oh, wow. That's great. Wait, Grishuk lost? Oh, what do you mean? He's still playing. He debated me. He's still playing. What's going on? Oh, Queen G. Oh, yo, yo, there's Rook. G oh, my God. He is actually losing, isn't he? Oh, my God. Rook G1. Oh my god, Rook G1 and Grishuk's gonna lose this game. Oi yo yo. Oi yo yo. Okay, Grishuk's losing, but he might find a way to survive this. He has a chance to survive, maybe. He's got a chance because White's pawn structure is bad. Like Rook G8, Queen D2, Rook G4. Ha, <laughs> Grishuk takes the draw. <laughs> Grishuk, yeah, Grishuk takes the draw. His opponent gets cold feet and offers a draw. I think he won 19J for the nine. His opponent's like, you know what? I'm not 100% sure I'm going to convert. So he offers a draw. That is hilarious. Um, that's really funny. He got really cold feet there. He got really scared because he was winning. He got really scared. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, you have to play. You've got a queen. You're, you're much better here. You got to play on. Okay, round two. It goes D4. Um, yeah, let's go back to G6. Play our usual. Go here. Maybe Bishop H3. Maybe Knight C6. Go here. I'm gonna go here. Play H5, of course. Definitely gonna go h4, try to open up the center, open up the open up the wing as well. I like my position here. It's pretty it's pretty decent. Goes bishop g5. Um I'll play h4. I mean the problem is white's also have white also has problems in the center of the board, too. Okay, takes. She takes now. I can actually play f6 here. F6 and g5, I think, is winning, but I can also get really fancy with knight d4. Ooh, tough spot. Um f6, g5, queen. I think I'm gonna trust my instinct that f6 is f6 and g5 is good here. I'm gonna trust my instinct. It might not be, but I, I'm going to trust my instinct that her bishop is just getting trapped. Also, queen d3, I can just go rook h6 and then g5. I can also play g5. I mean, okay, let's think for a second. I also can go queen g4. Like, there's so many things here that are good. I think I'm just going to go rook h6 and g5. I'm just going to be truly caveman here and just go g5. Not even sure what she's... I mean, g4. Okay, e4, I'll go g5. I mean, this just looks terrible because D4 is also super weak here. Now I can take, I can also, I can also take here too. Oh, man, there's so many options here. Huh. I'll just take and go here. Act the bishop, bishop E3, go E5. Go here. Close the center potentially. Just go knight of six, knight G4. Should be very, very good for me. Okay, let's just go here start to develop i might take i might just i mean probably i just castle to the queen side here and go rook h8 next move i mean this should just be winning it is an extra piece when all is said and done 
I also have Night Chief 4, which I kind of forgot was a move. Thank you to Trocar for the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Trocar, for the gifted sub. Thank you for the 600 bits as well. Okay, let's just go here. Let's start to start to put pressure on the king side. I'm obviously in a castle. I'm going to go over KH8. It looks really, really bad for white. Like, really bad. B5, logical move. I guess I'll go... D8, I mean, all moves are good, so I'm going to go to E7. And I can go to D8, E6 also. I don't really know which one's better. There's A4. Now, I have Knight H2 here. Probably just winning. I'm just going to take. Thank you, Trocar, for the gift of sub. Because if takes, if takes, I have Bishop, Bishop F1 with the Fossil winning the Queen. I have Castles, Rook H8. I mean, there's just nothing White can really do here. Thank you to Miggy for the nine months. Thank you so much to Miggy. Appreciate it. Thank you for the nine months, man. Um, I mean, everything is so winning here that it's kind of hard to figure out. But I think I'll, I'll just play this clean. I'll just keep it very low, low risk, simple. Um, do I do the tickle tickle? I mean, I can, but it doesn't make sense. I think I'm just going to start to... How do I how do I unwind this is the question. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go Rook H7 here. I wish I could castle King's side, but I can't. I can also just go King F8. Thank you to Trocar for the 300 bits. I mean, she is fighting. To give her that, she is she, she is trying to fight here in this position. And I'll just go here, I guess. Queen F7 coming. I just have to get some. Eventually, I get everything over to the King's side. And it's winning. It Trocar for the 900 bits. Okay, now I'm just gonna run my King out. Very, very rudimentary and basic. I might do the tickle tickle with Bishop H3 again in a second. Bishop H3, G4. Go here, no worries. Okay, I guess I go here. I'm still much better. I want to go Bishop E6 and Queen F7. Okay, let's go here. Attack the queen. I'm going to go queen f7 next move. Okay. I mean, obviously queen f7 is fine. I can also just go king g8, I guess. Oh, wait. Did I just blunder? D5? I might. I almost just blundered something bigly there. Ooh, that could have been really bad. Um, I've actually misplayed this kind of seriously in a sense. But if I take and go here, takes rookie six is winning though, right? Yeah, this is just winning. Go here. Because if takes, I have rookie six. Bishop f6, I just take. Queen is trapped. GG's. Thank you to Trocar for the, the bits, the gift of sub, everything. Thank you, man. Okay, you're a legend. Let's go here and go for the lolly. Queen h3. Oh, but she has rook d3. Oh, that was so stupid of me. I could have just taken the rook and ended the game. Okay, she misses it, so I go here, and now Lolly on G2, and that's game over. Hey, Trocar for the 600 bits. Thank you so much to Trocar. Really? No no, no resignation. Funny. All right, we got the dub. Two out of two. Um, so far, so good. Let's watch Min Lei's game. Two out of two. Min Lei is black, so he's just, yeah, he's just winning. Cleanly winning. Some trick, queen f6, queen f4, some trick wins. Knight h2 also wins. Good pairing for the start. So far, so good. I mean, it's only two games. Thank you for Trocar for extending the tier one through July. Thank you so much to Trocar. Appreciate it. Thank you for extending your tier one for the next nine months. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Shaminley's kind of misplayed this. He is winning still, but there's queen d4. Eh, I mean, king h2. He's still winning, but he's eh, he's misplayed this just a little bit. Queen a7, of course. Queen a8, maybe. Thank you to Econ Greg for the uh, for the raid with 65. Thank you so much to Econ Greg. Bishop f1, only move. Why is he thinking? Only move. Bishop g2. Queen f8. Still very tricky endgame here for Minlay. He's very lucky that the black, the white got stuck there for a second. Queen! Oh. 
if Minlight survives this, he's 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 the greatest player ever. No chance, right? King F2. What? King G4. This guy's an IM. Is he seriously gonna blow this? Yeah, now he's going to king e6, king d6. Chuck. And king d6. What? This guy is an IM. This guy is really an IM. He has eight seconds and he plays queen b3. For real? I mean, he must have felt bad for him. Like, what was queen b3? Like, I mean, what the heck is queen b3? Like, you just throw in, like, 10 checks on the back rank. Anything, and then you gain 5 seconds, and then you figure it out. Hey, Mr. Poop Talent for the 23. Dingus Boy for the 2. Quasimodo with the prime. Well, Pogchamps are early, apparently. Yeah. The standards have dropped. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. His min lay is the GOAT. He didn't win, though. He only got a draw. But, yeah, that's, that's like, that, that might be the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm not going to lie. That might be the worst thing I've ever seen. Because he had 8 seconds. It's not like he had 1 second. That, that's, like, the worst thing I've ever seen. Round three, let's keep going. Let's go knight f3 here. Yeah, that was that was just so bad. I, I mean, I have no words for that. That was abysmal. If it was one second versus one second, that's fine. But with eight seconds on the clock, all you have to do is avoid any fork and win the game. I mean, you can even sack the queen and you win. It's like it's just that bad. Where's my opponent? He's missing, giving me time odds, apparently. Okay. Oh, let's go back to our basics with C3 here. Go back to some base. I'm going to play here. E5, it should be 5, I guess. Let's go here. Bishop B5. I'll go here. Pin the knight. Queen B6. I think Queen E2 is still fine. So I always have H3 here. Now, do I go Bishop A4? Or do I trade? Is an interesting question. I'm going to take and go D4 here. So I always have H3 later. Now, obviously, take. I'm just going to go H3 here. I got to stop Bishop G4. I like my position here. I think I'm just better. Okay, Knight F5 is a bad move. I'll go G4, kick the Knight back. Now, I can obviously take here. Question is, do I want to take? My instinct is that I don't want to. So I think I'm just going to develop my knight. Could have developed the bishop first, I suppose. I'm going to take and go for quick development here. Because he's way behind on tempos. Like, he's way behind on developing tempos. It goes to h5. You can obviously take... I think I can do g5. Because now the problem is if he takes... Don't I have g6 here? And e6? This actually looks very... I don't know if G6 is right, actually. This might be wrong. I forgot he had Queen C4. It's going to get a little bit wild. So here I have Knight D4 next move. His pieces are not great. His Bishop is really bad on F8. It's really walled in here. It's about as bad a Bishop as you're ever going to see on, on any game of chess. He goes H4. I'll go here, Knight D4, and Bishop G5. I mean, this looks really, really bad. Go here, consolidate the pawn, and go rook g1. I, I think I'm positionally just winning already. I think it's close to loss. If I get the bishop to g5 or even knight g5, I mean, I think he just I think he almost just resigns here, basically. Yeah, I can also go a4. I think knight g5 makes sense. Queen d3 here, but I don't I don't want to release the bind. So the way to not release the bind is to play rook g1 and just hold everything here. His bishop, he's playing with a dead bishop on f8 right now. It cannot get into the game, basically. Very, very bad position for black. You need a Scottimus for the three. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Very, very bad. This is as bad of a bishop as you're ever going to see. There was a game between Ding Loren and, and um, Maxime Vashi Grav that was kind of similar out of a Karo Kant. 
Um, but in general, it's just, yeah, it's just abysmal. Now, queen d3 is probably good, but you know what? I don't even want to allow that. I can even just play f3, maybe. Yeah, let's just go f3. Stop knight e4 here. I'm just going to stop knight e4. I'm going to play a4 and, like, bishop e3. And I'm just going to grind, grind this out. And it goes queen c7. That doesn't really bother me. I mean, queen d3 is still good. But you know what? I'm not even concerned. I'm just going to go bishop e3 and just keep playing. I can castle um how do I win is the only question that's the only real question here how do how do I win this game I think I'm just gonna castle and go like king b1 he does have queen c4 but okay let's go here go here and b3 I guess queen d2 next move again he's playing without a bishop here I'm not really all that worried don't want to allow queen a3 just very very bad position for black impossible to play He's just sitting with he's just playing without a bishop basically and actually he's playing without a rook too kind of here as well okay he goes 98 logical now c4 looks like a good way to blast open the board here now let's go c4 and rook c4 just open it up because again he's playing without a bishop so he doesn't have a bishop in the game uh, i do have bishop f4 here i think just takes and rook c1 i have knight f7 i've got queen b4 here queen before is pretty good everything's still guarded he's just still dead bishop on f8 you get a k keys for the gifted sub thank you so much k keys knight d6 now i can go f4 here knight c6 should just be winning though we'll just go here and take again just he's playing without a bishop you can't play without a bishop this, this bishop is just so bad uh now he just gets checkmated very brutal game for my opponent very very brutal game I think it was actually just lost let, let me check the live analysis just to get some idea but i think it was just lost let, let's go back here See what was going on here wait let's go back okay yeah actually after e6 it's just you just resign basically it's plus three you just resign after e6 yeah after e6 you resign so it's already after g6 very very bad it's already like game over almost yeah that's very 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 tough 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 game for my opponent all right we're on three out of three let's watch some Bortnik. Bortnik's game looks pretty wild too let me turn off the lines um Bortnik is just better though right knight of 294 96 or rook f1 looks looks pleasant for white you get a big father for the eight months thank you so much there's also rook h5 though rook h5 he doesn't see it rook h5 knight h6 maybe with h3 okay that's just a bad move a very lucky pairing so far poggies really lucky i mean this guy this guy was 2700 he got a bad position but i, I don't know if that's lucky pairing it's only three rounds it's only three games you guys we still have a long way to go in this event long long way to go yeah by the way you guys uh someone did ask earlier about the speed run which which we uh the bolt speed run and we are basically finished with it i will still try to do an encore for an extra hour or two but if you guys did miss the um if you did miss the speed run you can you can still check it out on youtube i think we upload the first uh first one or two there's rook h8 mate we upload the first couple of videos on youtube so if you guys haven't um uh, if you haven't seen the speed run go to youtube you can subscribe to the channel it's free and you'll get notified when there are new videos that are going up just in case you miss them here on the live stream so make sure make sure make sure to do that as well if you haven't already hit that sub button on our youtube channel gmp karu when you have the opportunity because again not everyone can always watch these streams perfectly and um and um you, not everybody can watch these streams all the time and when you miss the stream sometimes you want to go back and watch it and uh, yeah so so definitely check it out on youtube if you did miss it how many episodes will there be of the speed run i'm not sure yeah it's free to hit subscribe on um on youtube it's totally free all right so board is on three out of three pretty normal so far nothing too crazy uh Zhigalko is playing as Zixiam. uh wait Zhigalko is losing he's down four pawns h6 no Zhigalko is completely lost here against this 2600 gm from azerbaijan oopsies oopsie daisies oopsies yeah so Zhigalko loses the game too so tough uh tough start for a lot of these guys Grishuk gave up a draw 
Jigalko loses. Min Lei, very crazy draw as well. So pretty, pretty wild. Play another I am CKG chess. Um, I basically need to go perfect. If I don't go perfect in title twos, I'm gonna lose rating points no matter what. So it's very important that I win every game. Uh, let's go G6. Go here. Go A6, B5, I suppose, and Bishop B7, pretty standard. B6 knight plays H4. This does allow B4, I thought. I'm going to go h5 because I still have b4, right? He's going to go f3. Let's go here. I'm going to reroute the knight immediately to b6, I think. Don't want to allow one of these weird a4 lines to come because then I have b4, knight c4. At least that's my intention. It's thinking for a long time here. Thank you to Hey W for the 11 months. Thank you so much to Hey W. Thank you for the 11 months, man. I appreciate it. Hey, Castles. I can play E6. This guy seems very traditional. I'm going to go E6 and just Knight F6, Knight D7, I guess. Okay, same for a long time here. Okay, this guy is very slow. Um, plays F4, which strikes me as a weird move. I feel like now I have Knight F6 and B4 at the right moment. It's F5, but I didn't think this worked. I actually should have used more time before just allowing this to happen in the game. Um... I'm going to go here and take. Oh, my God. I just hung a piece. Oh, my God. What am I doing? Oh, jeez. I just hung a piece for no reason. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to, like, actually work. <sighs> it's absurd by me. Let's just take and take. That was ridiculous. Should have gone queen d7. I went to the wrong square with the queen. He's going to try to go bishop g5. Okay. Let's just go back. If bishop g5, I go f6. He is slow though, so I need to use that to my advantage here. A castle. I'm gonna move the queen to d7, which is where it should have been in the first place. So here, rook e8, of course. You have e5, f6, e5 at some point. I'm definitely gonna play it. It's just a question of when. Funny, this is bad, but it's actually not, not horrible. So here, I'm gonna go e5. This is actually not crazy bad. Might not even be bad at all, weirdly. Very, very weirdly. This might not be bad at all once I get e5. Not bad. Let's go e5. He's going to take. I take. Surprisingly, I don't think this is that bad. Take. I have e4 and d5. I also have b4 lurking too now. I mean, this is very tricky to play. Yeah, this is very tricky for white. I think I might be okay. Crazy. I mean, I also have d5 at some point. Like, it's just, this looks very scary for white. Okay, he's trying to sack on e5. I do have b4 here, but I don't love it. Yeah, I'm up a minute on the clock, so I don't want to get too crazy and sane here. f4, knight e4 doesn't look right. He has to not let the pawns get loose. Now, Bishop H6 is a move. Actually, not a bad move, but I don't like it. Good move. I'm going to go here. Because now if takes, I can just take. I still want to keep flexibility here with the pawn push. So, okay, it goes Queen F2. And now I do have B4 again. I'm just going to go... I have to be careful. I think I'm going to go... Queen c8. I feel like this is a mistake somehow, but I'm not sure. Knight d4. Knight d2. If I go e4, or do I go f4? I've got this decision too, which is tough. I'm still up on the clock, though. I don't really want to go e4, but it might not be bad. I'm going to go for it. I'm not sure if it's right. Okay, I'm going to take. I'm going to go here. I think, I'm, I think this is wrong, though. 
Feels wrong. Feels very wrong. Like, I, I misplayed this. Go here, queen g8, I guess. Let's go rook f7, maybe? Still very tricky for both sides. But I definitely misplayed this. d5 is a move. Um, I need to get d5 and c5. And so I think I'm going to go here and then d5. Do I, have C I don't have c5 here. So I don't have d5 either. So let's go here and c5 and b4. c5 oh wait I'm, he's threatening bishop b5 which i missed okay let's go here c4 i have b4 maybe still very tricky i have c4 so i go here i'm gonna go knight c3 of course could have had a better i, I should have had better than this though was rookie one that actually looks like a bad move to me but i don't know how to capitalize off of it how do i capitalize i have to find some rerouting of my knight we have knight c3 which i don't like i also don't have a ton of time though let's just go here let's just move i want to go d5 oh he blunders he blunt he trapped his queen oh man he trapped his queen oh he trapped his queen <laughs> Thank you to get in the clown car. Thank you to Pretty Turk for the seven months. We got the dub. Thank you to Kate Keys for the give subsamity for the three. We got the dub. Oof. Sheesh, that was close. But we do get the dub. Four out of four. Too much pressure. Yeah, I was getting too low on time as well. Um, so yeah, four, four out of four. And uh, that is going to be our first break, I believe. I will wait to make sure. Yeah, I resign on this block because the queen is trapped. Um, so far, so good. Let's go back to title two. So let's see. All right, I should show up now. Yeah, I show up in four out of four. Let's see who else is playing. Bortnik is playing. Um, I assume there's a break. There should be a six minute break. I must just take D6 after E4. Oh, maybe it exists. I don't know. But anyway, um, Bortnik is losing, but oh, he was losing, but he lost F3. He's still losing though. King G1 wins or Bishop D5. Yeah, Bishop B7 and C6 are, oh man. Bornick's going to lose too. Warnick's going to lose his as well. Just c6. Take with a pawn. c7. King h2. King g3. Game over. d7 also. Yeah, and and uh, Crest has too much time as well. He's got 16 seconds. Just take the pawn. Wow. Bornick loses as well. So many people are getting upset in this event. It feels like crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Uh, so we're on 4 out of 4. Thank you to Servo Guy for the Prime. Um, I haven't seen the, the announcement for the break after round four. Um, I had 35% accuracy last game. Wait, seriously? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, sorry. I have to look at the analysis then. Okay. Let's, let's look at the analysis. There's no way, is there? Let's see. Let's do a game report. There's no way, right? <laughs> it's 34.8 <laughs> oh man oh man very uh very very poor performance let me let me move it over so you guys can see it yep there you guys go <laughs> very very poor performance 34.8 percent <laughs> okay 34.8 percent and i won Okay, let's see. Let's go knight three. Okay, we're playing Snow Lord. I played this guy before. Um, I played him some blitz games. I think I, I lost him in the uh, chest on quick event. All right, let's go here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna play C three again. I'm just gonna try to keep it very slow. It's Bishop D three, Bishop C two. Like Copac system ish. Let's go H three, Bishop C two. A little bit extravagant trying to get all these things in. This still should be fine. I just castle. Plays e5. I think d5 is still completely fine. I have this against Yavrikurt, right? And now you go here because he can't take. So the... Oh, what? Wait, is this some kind of weird theory that I'm not aware of? Huh. Wait a second. Is this some kind of weird theory that I'm just not aware of? Wait, I need to think for a second.
Might be some kind of sick theory that I just haven't seen before. <sighs> Shoot, I don't want to spend too much time either. This actually looks fairly troublesome. Like, maybe very troublesome, actually. I'm going to go for this. Oh, did I just blunder again? I think I did. What? Is this some kind of weird theory that I just don't know? Shoot. Uh, this is kind of just gross. Oh, I could have taken the pawn. Why did I just take the pawn and just give up the... Why did I just give up give up material and take the pawn? That was so stupid of me. <clears throat> I also had bishop g5 maybe there. No, maybe just bishop e3. You double d nice. Okay, I need to keep this one in mind because I actually was, I was unaware of this theory. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I take, of course. And if I get knight c3, I should be fine. Okay, let's go. Or actually, let's go here in knight c4. This is actually, I think this is a mistake by him. Because now he put, he gives me this knight c4 jump. <clears throat> queen a6 is reasonable. I can just go a4, I guess. Go queen f2, maybe. Or knight f1, knight e3. I, I gotta be careful, though. Let's just go. I don't wanna waste too much time. Don't waste too much time. Just go here. Okay, let's go. Not rook a2. Go. This is very hard to play. Go here in b3, I guess. Just gotta go. I just gotta go. If I, can re if I maneuver my knight to round, I'm probably. I have chances at least. The queen f1 is not the move I want to play. Not terrible, though. My knight's so bad. Maybe just knight f1. Okay, let's just go knight f1, get the knight back in the game. Very important. I do have rook a2 now. I'm close to unwinding this. I'm still worse, but I'm close to unwinding it. Very close to unwinding this, actually. I need a watchful prison for the 12 months. Thank you so much for watchful prison. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm better almost. Um, Maybe better is too strong of a word, but I'm, I'm should be fine here. Let's go here. I, oh, he's got queen g3, which I forgot about. But I have knight f1 back, I guess. Um, <clears throat> here I have knight d4, knight e6, I guess. I have rook a1 also, rook a2 also. Shoot. Guess I have to go back. I have to go back. Unbelievable. Go here, rook a2, I guess. Gotta speed up. Gotta be fast. Very tricky position to play. It does this. I think I'm. I think I'm definitely better here. I don't know if I'm winning though. Let's take. Now rook c1. Now I can trade. If I want to trade, is the question. I don't really want to trade. Um, but it's hard not to trade. Okay, let's go. Ah, it's so hard. Okay, I'm just gonna trade and go bring the king in. Oh, that's a free pawn. 
He blundered. Now, now I'm winning. Now, now with te technical, if I play this correctly from a technical standpoint, I should be winning this game. He just blundered that. Let's go. Oh wait, don't hang your, don't hang your knight. Oh my god, I was about to just hang my knight. Okay, let's go here. Yeah, technically I'm winning here, and it's three one, so now time doesn't even matter. Thank you to Cash for the seven. Time doesn't matter now, so I should technically be winning. He still has Bishop H4, but I go G3 and H4. Oh, uh, I can play Knight C4. Let's just go here. The good thing is time doesn't matter. That, that's the most important thing here is that time doesn't matter. This is 3-0. This would be very hard to win. This is 3-1, so I should be winning here. It's not going to be easy, but technically, I mean, he's got what, one pawn. Go here. I know you. You know me. Come together. Go here on Bishop D3. Again, if this was 3-0, I would I would lose this. But I can even pre-move this. That's how good this position is. Go here, King F5. <laughs> yeah, if this is three. If this was three three zero, I would have had real trouble. But this is three one, so time doesn't even matter here. Okay, what's this threat? There is no actual threat. Let's just go here and take the pawn. Tickle him. Actually, I shouldn't tickle because he gets more time. Go here. Tickling is bad because he gets extra time here. Um, let's just go here. Attack the rook. 95, of course. Oh, I can also take the pawn. game check in here actually yeah we won the game okay good win five out of five thank you to crazy eight for the 13 <sighs> tough game i missed mate in two four times i don't think i missed mate in two did i <clears throat> oh was there some rook g8 rook... where was the mate in two? Oh, i had rook g8 rook g8 and rook d8 here yeah i missed it here rook g8 i missed it a few times yeah yeah but I was just making sure that um I was just making sure that I could that I could never mess it up. That's the thing. Once he hung the A pawn, once he hung this pawn at A4, then it was just very hard for him. Uh, my Elo is insane. Not really. It'd be nice if it was about 100 points higher. It's only 3256 right now, so it's it's decent. Um, he played well. He played well. But we get the dub when all is said and done. Five out of five. Six more to go. Pretty pretty good, as we like to say. All right, next game, five out of five. There's still quite a few people on five. Actually, a lot. There are eight people on five. So we're going to play Christopher... Or no, sorry, we're not playing Christopher. He's just the top of the score, but we're playing Gupta. Um, I'm going to... Nah, I don't really believe in the Blumenfeld today. No, I do I believe in Blumenfeld? Not really. Okay, he's going to play the uh, Bishop D2, right? Uh, he's going to play E3 and Bishop D2, I assume. Let's go C5. Yeah, I was going to play the, the Bloom, Blumenfeld was the line that I beat him with in the uh, Pro Chess League. Or sorry, the Chess Super League, not the Pro Chess League. Plays Rook C1. I'm going to go B6, Bishop B7 again. Keep it very simple here. Very slow. And he has the F3. He also has 92. This is going to be a very slow game. When's my next OTB tournament? Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know at this point. Um, I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty sucky. That's all I'm gonna say. It's pretty it's pretty sucky, but it is what it is. 
No, I mean it's it's pretty it's pretty. I mean I'm I'm not happy about it. Um, but you know what 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 can I do really? Why did I retire from classical chess right on cue exactly? Yes, you guys. Uh, now I have knight c3. I mean I think I should just play like d6 and knight e7 and queen e7 to keep this very very slow and stable probably. It's not a very exciting position. I will say that much. Okay, he takes which I'm kind of surprised, but I guess I guess he takes because he wants to um he wants some kind of weird imbalanced middle game. I don't really believe in this though I have to say yeah this looks a little bit questionable what oh he's 92 oh interesting interesting idea by Gupta very interesting I guess I have Bishop d3 maybe Queen g5 knight of three Queen d5 looks fine He has to take, and then I go like 97, 95. It's gonna be interesting. Interesting game is is ahead of us. Wait, what? What is that? Don't I just have rookie eight? Wait, what? Wait, what did Gupta just do? No, Gupta's insane. What is Queen G4? Because takes I just go rookie eight and bishop e2. You get a who five five in for the two things scrap for the fifteen. Yeah, I just go check. I actually wait. Do I have queen e seven? Which queen e seven might even be stronger. Wait a second. If I go queen e seven. Got no rookie one. He moves the queen anywhere. Wait, queen e seven just. I don't see it. I think this just game over. Yeah, it's just game over. Because if he moves the queen away, I make checkmate. Yeah, he's just he's just completely lost. It's game over. Now this, you guys, is what I call luck. This is what I call luck. Is the Gupta just randomly blundering in the opening like this for no good reason? This is what I call luck. If you guys want to say I've gotten lucky pairings, lucky pairings, no. But this is the sort of situation where it's like, um, this is what we call luck. And I just take King D two, Bishop C four, and it's just it's just lost. very strange game yeah I just take the pawn trade the rooks just go here stop the ice skater and now I just I mean he has to resign basically yeah very very strange game I don't understand that at all oh he meant to play queen f3 mouse slip to g4 no 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 he, he meant to go queen g4 or maybe queen f3 is an interesting move but no he definitely meant to go to g4 um pretty confident that he did uh, that's my guess i don't know i i can't really see any other move queen f3 was the best move maybe yeah yeah definitely possible i don't know but yeah anyway six out of six um we're doing very well let's watch uh christopher Yu. so okay so Savitarov is doing well i mean you is struggling you is you got his bishop trapped or, wait yeah you loses the bishop and with it you loses the game um so it's game over yeah <laughs> yeah me right okay back to the usual yes back to the usual yes <laughs> you loses yeah you just take trade all the rooks off I mean yeah you just trade bring the king in 10 seconds black loses the game here Bishop c7 and King d4 yep that's it kind of surprised you hasn't resigned yet like Bishop b8 King d3 King f4 King e3 King f4 you got Nelly cruising for the uh, nine months. Thank you, Desla, for the nine as well. Thank you so much to Desla. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Desla. Okay, so White wins. So Savitinov's also on six out of six as well. So this is going to be a pretty fun finish. I guess this is still draw. Oh, oh, Desi Boys says I did mean to play Queen Andrew. My stupid mouse clicked. Oh, wait. Actually, De oh, Desi Boys is, uh, is gooped. Oh. Oh, so it was a mouse up? Oh, that's really unfortunate. Oh, I didn't even consider queen f3, to be fair. But it makes a lot of sense as a move. They had a nade sheet for the prime. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, that is always going to be the one issue. What the fridge is king d2? What the fridge is king d2? King f3 and draw. 
Still a draw. Throw on the tree move. Yeah, three. Check, check, start checking. Okay, five. Oh, uh, no, now king f5 and we start again. Okay, but still a draw. Now start checking again. <laughs> White one by timeout. He counted for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, bad game. Anyway, round seven starting in it, starting in a jiffy. All right, let's go. I think I'll still play night after. I'll keep it very slow and simple, as I always do, generally, in the situations. Uh, very, very poor, though, at any rate. Very poor. Okay, let's go back to our E3 basics. Go here. Actually, I should have played C4 first. Forgot that he, he knows this line. Okay, I'm just going to do the double Fianchito. Now it's the castle. I'll probably play, like, D3. 92, maybe 95. Let's go here. Trade, go 92. Uh, game bishop f6 again. Playing this game pretty poorly so far. Now I can play c3. I can also go c4. It's kind of interesting. I also have e4. But e4 just draws the game. No, I misplayed this opening. I'm going to go over something weird with c3. It's a little bit... It's very double-edged now. Because now there's a dangerous e4. But I guess I have f3 always. Yeah, what am I even doing in this game? I guess I'll play rookie one. I'm going to play for E. If E4, I definitely go. Oh, I don't like this at all. I can play F4. I think I'm just going to play F4. Try to really make this a little bit weird. Let's pre-move this. Or this. I, I don't know which one he'll take. Kind of a strange position. Very strange position. Thank you to QNR for the 10 months. Probably a draw. Pro probably this is going to be a draw. It's pretty flat. Um, pretty flat position. Very hard for either side to do anything here. I mean, if I can get a knight to e5, I'm better. But he can get the bishop to e4 first. See what he can do. Very dry game. Like queen e7 is going to be very hard for me to win this. Although I do have queen f2 and maybe knight f3 and rookie one. It's actually not as clear as I thought. Maybe not so simple. It's bishop f5. I have h3 and g4. I think actually I'm going to play h3. Try to get g4 in. So this is a little bit questionable what I'm doing here. A little bit questionable. I mean, it's knight h7, knight f3, I guess. Or, okay, it goes there. So I guess I'll go... Here on queen f2. I don't actually like what I'm doing necessarily in this position. I think I maybe I'm already a little bit better. Maybe. Knight h7, yeah. If I go h4, is queen f4, I guess? That must be his idea. If I play rookie one, it's going to be a draw. But you know what? I should be safe rather than gambling here. This is not the time to gamble. We're, we're on six out of six. I want a perfect score, but I, I cannot risk a loss here. Because a loss is very catastrophic. So let's go here and trade, I guess. A loss would be catastrophic here, so I'm just going to keep it very flat. Keep it very flat and stable. I can never really lose here, but I just keep it slow. Keep it slow. Hang on as long as I can, and then if I have to, then if I really want to go bro broke, I go broke. I need a Hydro for the Tier 1. Thank you so much to Hydro. h4 okay it goes queen f4 but that doesn't actually threaten anything that was the, the problem with queen f4 is there's no threat like if i go here what's his threat that's this was like what i wasn't sure of. what's his actual threat doesn't have a threat i could have gone queen f2 i suppose actually bishop c1 might be a bad move well i have 90 94 is a huge threat 94 knight 3 takes 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 is i guess that's a draw is that a draw huh I can also go king h1 and knight e4. Oh, man. I feel like I should have something here. But if I go h4, knight h7. D5's not hanging. C5's not really hanging. Well, I also have knight e4, knight c5 maybe. Then queen h3. King h2. 
Uh, wait a second. That's interesting. 94 has ridiculous success. I think it's okay. Let's go for it. Just to go check. I can also go king f1. This is wild. Oh, we can just take on h3. Wait, but I have king... Oh, no, I just blundered this. Shoot. I blundered knight h3. Maybe I still have a draw, though. Wait a second. Let's think about this. It's still tricky. Queen e7. Knight takes, takes, takes. I'm going to go over something crazy. I'm going to go over something truly crazy. Go for this. This is very crazy of me. I think this is probably wrong, too, but... But I want to try to win this game. I don't want to take a draw. I might get punished for it. You know, there is some chance of that. I should have gone queen. Why didn't I just go queen e7? That was my initial idea, and then I didn't play it either. Yeah, I find it's bishop c6, which is probably the best move in the position. Now, I can take h6 here. Still very unclear, though. I still have bishop d2 or, or queen e8 also. Oh, I can also check and take take. King h7. Yeah, it's probably this is just a draw. If I'm smart, it's a draw. If I'm not smart, I probably lose this. Go here. It goes knight g5. We trade, and probably it's just a draw. He's way down on the clock, but it's 3-1, not 3-0, so I can't... I probably can't win this. It takes, though, which is interesting, so I'll make a... Yeah, he takes... I mean, I guess it's just a draw. I have to be smart about this, so I don't want to do something too stupid. <laughs> but I also want to win. <laughs> I have to... It's very hard to weigh the win versus draw situation here. Um... Why am I thinking so long suddenly? I'm thinking too long out of nowhere. Yeah, why am I thinking suddenly? Why did I do this? What did I just do? Why did I just do this? a draw still but very unhappy with myself for my plan this game very unhappy with myself need a villagante for the prime well very unhappy with the way that i played that i probably was never winning but i really came close to losing that i came really close because i thought for like 30 seconds there i just couldn't my mind just got glitched. I just got stuck there. Draw is a loss. No, a draw is fine. I mean, a draw for the tournament, a draw is fine. But I just, I got like locked. My brain just got locked. I just couldn't, I just couldn't come up with a move. It's very, very weird. Very, very weird. But he did play well. I mean, I, you know, you have to give credit where credit's due, and he did play very well. Uh, I would watch you even if you switch platforms. XCCL. What on earth does that mean? I'm on Twitch. I don't know what that means. Um, anyway, we're on five and a half or six and a half out of seven. Savitarov's on seven, so somebody has to play him. I lose like I lose. Oh, I don't actually lose that many points. I only lose six points. So a draw is not the end of the world. Not the end of the world, luckily. It's just not the end of the world, fortunately. That's good. Am I switching platforms? No, I'm streaming on I'm streaming on Twitch. I don't understand what what the question is. I, I just don't understand. Yeah, I just, I thought too long. I, it's like I got stuck between thinking and then I panicked. Like, those 30 seconds went by way too quickly. But he played well. I mean, credit, you give credit where credit is due and he played well. Contrary to what everybody thinks, I do give credit. When my opponents play well, I give credit. 
and he did play well it's just that simple round seven coming up so I get the tough pairing pairing I play Savidinov with black I'm gonna play the Nidorf I'm gonna play I'm gonna go into his g3 system I'm just thinking about it uh oh he plays d4 okay let's play a Dutch in honor of Tata Steel the Dutch tournament that's going on or will be going on let's play the Leningrad play the Leningrad Dutch in honor in, in honor of Leningrad you know the great city from World War II and of course in honor of the Dutch uh because they are amazing as well let's go c6 and e5 plays d3 this line is still playable although it's not great I don't think after queen a5 so this guy is very strong he's he I've said before he's uh he's a good player let's go e5 this is actually not one wait e4 here e2 e4 gf this is not right I don't think Ninety-two, knight h5. No, I don't think this is right. I'm gonna go f4. Maybe it's Sebastian for the five months. I'm just, I'm just thinking about this logically how this line goes. I don't think this is right. This takes. Okay, it goes queen d6. I saw this move. Um, first of all, I have 97. Secondly, I have 98. Which move is right is the question. I think 98 is correct. I'm going 98, attack the queen here. 92. Okay, what's the idea? There is no idea, though. What is this? Why am I, why, again, I'm thinking way too long, so I just need to move. Just go here. Just think and just move. I could have gone h6 there I, I still have bishop g4 but h6 seems like the right move yeah I'm just gonna play h6 bishop a3 could be annoying bishop g4 is the the logical human move no it's wrong though I've got I've got to make a move soon though I can't I can't just sit around and think forever here I mean d8 is a problem though or is it yeah it is okay I just got to move why, why am I thinking let's thinking way too long I'll go here this is a mistake too but he doesn't take advantage of it. he plays Queen d8 which I think is not best go here remove the rook And this, by the way, is a perfect example of, of of like of me just like being a little bit slower, a little bit older, a little bit slower, just like missing some of these things. Like I never would have thought this long in the old days. But getting old sucks. Never would have gone to a one minute thing there. I would just played the move and been like, okay, if I lose, I lose. Big deal. Who cares? Whereas now, like I just my mind just doesn't let me do that. I did get him out of his comfort zone. This is true. It's a very complicated position here. Knight a4, that doesn't look right either. Uh, I think I'll just go g5. If he takes, I just take. Probably I... Okay, he goes knight e1. Don't understand what that does exactly, but I do have problems with my knight as well. Um, I gotta come up with something fast because I'm low, I'm low on time. Uh, let's just go here, I guess. My pieces are all a little bit misplaced. That's the other problem I have here. Okay, it does that. I guess I'll go f3 and b6. Do have knight of six I do have knight D uh shoot I'm too slow again he gets knight c5 I'm in trouble I'll go here and rook c8 maybe should have played this quicker rather than wasting 40 seconds but I'm still in the game at least I'm not it's not like I'm losing or anything go here h3 of course I go h5 g4 I still have bishop f8 at some point too I also have a5 maybe depending okay, rookie one looks wrong let's go here there okay I, I'm starting to unwind this a little bit but it's not easy to play still go here I guess oh 
Oh wait, why did I? Oh, uh, I gotta think. I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta move. Go here, I guess. Okay, let's trade. Go here, attack the pawn. He's misplayed this. I don't. Know, I don't know if I can win the game, but he's definitely misplayed this. Now I go here. I get pressure on the pawn. Uh, let's go here. He's got rook d. No, but then I take and he loses the pawn. Wait. Oh, I'm close to being better here. I don't see it though. Ah, I just don't see it. I guess I'll go a5 and take. So let's go here and take maybe a 94. I'm trying to create imbalance. He he's happy with a draw. I'm quite sure he's he's completely happy with a draw. Now I can take and go knight c3. No, to draw draw never helped anybody, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna play the the double edge line with rook d8 and knight c3 here, and we'll see what happens. Here, attack the bishop. I can take and go bishop g6. Go here. And if I get my king in, I mean he's in real trouble here. I also have rook e8 at some point. Trying to get my king in. Thank you. Got knight c5 or something. I think I have winning chance, but it's going to be very tricky. That's a mistake though, right? I go here. That's a big mistake. Because takes, I go king d4 check and he resigns. That's a huge mistake. He might have just lost the game here. I think he did. I think he just lost the game. I still have to prove that it's winning, but I think he's in here. I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to wait. I mean, I don't have to do anything in a hurry. Um, Got to move, though. Oh, wait, why did I do this? Fudge. I think it's Smith RM for three, Griff, Griff. And this is winning. Why did I think so long there? I didn't think that was a three folder. I would have done something else. But see, this is why you can't use this is why you can't use 20 seconds in the middle. That's why you can't use 20 seconds. Because if I don't use 20 seconds, I win the game. I play rookie two and I win the game. That, that's why you can't use 20 seconds. Say Chris OP for the 15. That's exactly why I didn't win the game, is because I spent too much time in that middle game. Rookie two does work, and I don't know why I didn't play it, but I thought he could just wait with like King C1. But I mean it's just it's just winning, obviously. No, I mean it's very stupid. No, I'm, I'm actually quite upset with... Well, is it actually... Wait, is it winning? I don't know. I was winning, though. Let me just think about... Let me just go back here. Rookie 8 was an... Rookie eight's an idea, but it doesn't do anything specifically. No, I mean, Engine says Rookie 2 is plus 5. You know, I mean, I knew it was winning, and then, like, I didn't realize it was a 3-fold. I, I was just shuffling the Rook, and I didn't realize it was a 3-fold. I thought I could just, like, play another couple of moves and then do it. And I probably could have. I should have put the Rook on E87, waste a few more moves... Dance with the bishop to h7, g6. Get like an extra 10 seconds and then go rookie two and win the game. No, that was terrible. Thank you to thank you to Sick Not Cygnus for the nine and Bojangas for the 12. It was also really stupid not to do that because I had already turned down a couple draw opportunities. That's that's why I'm mad at myself. That was very bad. I'm still in the running, but that was very poor. No, that, that was very poor. Very, very poor. And that's why, again, when people think that I get mad at myself for using too much time in the middle games, all those little things, you have to do them all correctly. If you do, if you mess up, mess up those little things, then they come back to bite you later on in the game. Like, if I had moved quicker and I have an extra 20 seconds here, I almost certainly play rookie two and win. But because I was down to, like, 10 seconds, a little, little bit on edge, a little bit on edge, wasn't 100% sure. That's why I didn't do it. And, of course, uh, I pay the price. No, it is three plus one, obviously, but one second is not really enough when you need to calculate. If you're 10 seconds or less and you have to calculate an end game, you're not sure. But the reason I should have played rookie two above and beyond every every other reason was because um was because basically if he trades, I'm always winning. Like I cannot lose not winning, sorry, but I can never lose this position with the four connected, the connect four here. I can never lose. So if I can never lose, I by process of elimination I have to play it. 
but it's what it is so we have um so we have seven out of eight we're still we're still uh still in it knock is justifying why lost dude so insecure that is hilarious that's the greatest thing I've ever seen I draw the game and it's a loss very funny um yeah I that's a good reminder of why I should turn off chat bunch of idiots in chat acting like oh you know he's explaining why I lost the game when it was a draw oh yeah no no it's not in twitch chat by the way it's in the chess.com chat so I just I just turned it off I think a Puzu for the prime thing switch Puzu yeah it's it's hilarious it's hilarious what people say I have notes the chess.com chat is really toxic though really really toxic um really toxic in chess.com like it, I mean the chess.com mods need really do actually need to do something about that because I've seen a lot of idiotic stuff around various players when they play it's like it's really really bad on chess.com but yeah oh tell me something I don't know well I mean the chess chess.com mod should really do something about it because it definitely is not good it's not good at all that chess.com doesn't monitor it and do anything about it so is Lee chess uh maybe I don't know but yeah yeah it's, it's pretty bad it's it's pretty bad though on chess.com anyway we're on a break I think so uh, I think I think we're on the break here if I'm not mistaken after round eight very disappointing if I win that game I would be in first with seven and a half that being said we're still in the running the only problem is there are a lot of us on seven there's eight people on seven I don't exactly have great tiebreakers either which is another problem uh do players get less toxic at higher ratings or is it pretty much the same anywhere oh um it definitely gets reduced I would say if I would say for sure the most toxic range is between like 2000 and maybe like 2300 might be a little bit lower but that range is where the worst stuff happens for sure that's where the worst that's the worst range is like maybe it might even be like 1800 to 2200 but in that range all right let's keep going um okay this is round this is actually probably a very good pairing objective out of all the pairings I could get in round eight this is probably the best pairing since there are a lot of very dangerous players around in this range this is probably the best pairing I can get in round eight a b3 let's keep it very very slow let's go c4 he goes bishop f5 interesting I guess let's just go knight d2 just develop maybe knight h4 okay goes a5 not actually worried a4 I can go really let's go b4 a3 bishop c3 he's playing this really fast so I don't know if this is some kind of weird prep or what this is exactly because he's playing this way too fast very strange I mean I can go c5 here which is reasonable I mean I can also just play queen b3 or b5 you know we're in a situation where I need to win so I'm going to play c5 even if it's probably not the best move I must win this game so I have to create the imbalance immediately it goes 94 so I take I go 92 but he takes with the Bishop interesting aha uh -huh. I I understand his concept he wants to play for e5 okay I'm gonna go f4 I have Queen b3 and e4 maybe I also have g4 f5 too plays h5 strange move now I think I can just oh wait no b5 hangs c5 and play h3 but I don't like it I think I'm just gonna start building on the queen side like queen b3 b5 maybe I think you got Luki Wan for the four months thanks so much Luki Wan yeah I think he's starting to misplay this a little bit I this just doesn't look right what exactly is this plan I'm so conf I'm just gonna go b5 I'm kind of confused like is he actually what exactly is this whole kingside maneuver I don't understand this kingside maneuver at all now f6 e5 is maybe a move but it's he's already really weakened his king side so I don't really understand what he what exactly this is it doesn't really make sense to me you get a fruity end for the two months I guess so much a fruity end what but I just take and move my king what what okay I'm conf I don't know what's with this guy he just blundered I'm just confused I am just confused I have no idea what this is yeah but I mean the thing is it's just so bad for black here I've d1 oh no is this they're playing Bala Bamba Bamba song oh no 
I, 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 that's, I saw there was a Reddit clip last night of uh, that I saw from Rexful's old videos of him singing this song. So this is, uh, I actually watched it and I actually was like, I, I ended up like crying for like five minutes after watching that clip. It was so sad to see. Um, I guess I'll go 93, 94. Should be winning here. Oh, it's not, it's not bad. It's just there was a clip that made Reddit. There was a clip that made LSF uh, from his old VODs. They still rerun those VODs and, um, Okay, I just go here. I, I don't understand what this guy's doing. He's just losing the game, basically. But yeah, I just saw it from the old clips, and it was just like the old VODs, and it just, yeah, made me sad. I can go 94 here. I mean, go here, attack the bishop here. Takes, I just take the queen. Should just be winning here. Yeah, it, it just makes no sense. I just don't know what this guy's doing exactly. Okay, but now I mean I just take and I just I mean it's just over. Down way too much material. Very strange, very very strange game. I'm go bishop d4 I think. Queen c7 I have b6. Queen e6 I have knight g5 with the fork. Queen a5 I just go b6 with the with the fossil. Just gg. All right, you guys. I am gonna run to the restroom very quickly. Uh, there is not an actual break I don't think. But I am going to run to the Russian very quickly uh, in between. So I will be right back. Eight out of nine. Svidinov drew. Okay, so who's still playing? We have, Az there are a bunch of games still going. Let's watch Azri Chess versus Z Kid. Z Kid is black and down. Um, Not actually down anything. He's got four pieces here. Leo Dackerson for the 15. Very complicated. Knight d5. Knight f6, knight d2, knight g4. Oh, you're down. Yeah, White has a bunch of pawns on the queen king side. I think this is going to be a draw, is my guess. Reckful was my friend. Uh, yeah, I, I knew. The funny thing about Reckful is that in many ways, like my, the way that I, uh, Rook c7. I think this is going to be a draw, by the way. My wife knows she gained some weight. Is this true? No, actually not really. No, I put on some muscle though. I did actually put on a little bit of muscle um, relative to where I was before. Did I see a wet spot on your pants? <laughs> Good one, dude. Good one. Very funny. Very funny, my friend. Um, Very funny. You actually got me for a second to like look. <laughs> muscle is weight. Okay, yeah. So I guess King G7 or Bishop G7? Bishop g7 is a big problem. Bishop g7 and knight c3. Uh, rook b8. I think Shaq's going to win now, by the way. Still very messy, though. King h3. Oh, knight d7. Yes, yeah, Shaq found the win. And now b7 and white wins. Or this one, too. This also works. Um, This also works. Tough game, but Shaq's going to be on 8 also. Okay, Joe Baba won. So there are a bunch of people on 8 right now. Anyway, nine out of 11, two, two more games to go. So we just keep rolling right along. I uh, look younger today. Did I get a haircut? Yes, you guys, I got a haircut. We're going to play the Joe Baba here. Everybody's on eight out of nine. So a draw is not the end of the world, but I, I do want to try to go after him. Maybe. World Cup is during summer also. Yeah. Um, Let's get back to base. Oh, no. I know what he's going to do. I should not have played E5. Yeah, he's going to play. I can play here, but I don't want to play a four knights. He's going to play a four knights. I don't really want to play that right now. So let's play this one instead. A4 is strange. Okay, I'm gonna go A6 here. Go here, I have H6. Oh wait, did I just make a mistake? I think I did actually. Let's go here in D6. Yikes, I made a slight mistake in my ordering. Because Knight D5, I can just, tr okay, it goes A5, logical. But now we're just in a standard middle game. Nothing too exciting for either player. I've got knight before. I can castle. I can go knight g4. Um, and so forth. Oh, he wants to go bishop e3, I guess. I can try to get really frisky with knight g4 here. Do I want to try to get really frisky and be a hero, all-time hero? I kind of want to, but I kind of don't really believe it either. Um, hmm. No, it's not right. Um, 
It should be e6, it should be e3. I think I'm just going to play traditional here. He, uh, he's got knight e5, which I forgot about as well. So I'm probably going to trade and go take on b3 and castle. I don't know what the objective evaluation of that is, but it's going to be complicated at least. Am I ever going to check the Reddit again after this? After what? Check Reddit after what exactly? I don't understand. Something happened? Yeah, he goes Bishop E3. I mean, I, I assume... I don't know. I'm going to go for this. I, I don't really know what's happening, but it looks interesting at any rate. It looks like an unusual setup. He's got double pawns. He's got a weak A pawn. He does have some scope here maybe on the king side, but I'm going to go D5, D4 and just open it up. At least that's my intention if he plays a 4 he loses the pawn if he plays rook d1 i saw it as a move but i i guess i guess shubab is going all in here i guess he's going all in and he's basically banking on enough play here in the center of the board now i thought i had d5 again d5 e5 d4 queen moves takes yeah i don't understand let me think e5 three let's just go for it i, I probably should think longer than just blitz this move but let's see what he's gonna do he does have okay I go here and I take because bishop h7 I take with the knight I'm wondering if he missed this that on this this bishop h7 I can take and I have a rook and two knights I think he might have missed this there's some likelihood that he missed this I like my position here I like the I like the position just like I like the stonk yeah, he, he blundered knight. He blundered that he doesn't have a check on h7 because I take with the knight. Takes with that. No, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay, now I can I can go knight d7, bishop f5, rook e7. Wait a second. Rook e7, queen g4. I think it's win. I think it's winning actually. But I, you know what the thing is in this situation, if it's not winning, g4 rook there, e6, e6 that's probably winning I you know what we're in a situation where if I lose I lose but you know what I don't think a draw is going to be good enough here yeah I don't think a draw is going to be good enough so let's go for it I just I don't think a draw is going to be good enough here I just don't believe a draw is enough so I, I'm going to try to win this he's going to go queen g4 I'm going to go knight b8 and if he has a way to win, he has a way to win. Oh shoot, he's just he can just move his rook. Oh no, I'm an idiot. Or wait, no, I have queen f8 and knight c5. Wait, I have a move. Oh no, no, then I lose my knight. Oh, what am I doing? I have to go here and take. If I get queen c7. Okay, so now I have to just take. If I get knight f8, I win. So he has to take, and he has to take, and he has to take. And I have checked takes. I'm on the right side. That's all I know. I don't know if I'm winning, but... uh, Or did I just blunder the game? I didn't even see this. Oh, shoot. I didn't even see this move. Oh, shoot. I didn't see this move. I go g5, queen h5. I didn't see rook g3 at all. I might just lose the game here. I have f6. <sighs> he found a good he found he found he found a great move. Go here. Wait, what? Wait a second, what? Did he miss knight f8? Wait a second. Takes wait a second I have Queen c5 I gotta move I gotta move I have no time I'm probably gonna sack here sack I hope this works I don't have time to figure it out <sighs> uh Oh, wait, no, it does work because I've made. Wait. Wait, I think I might have just tricked him. Wait, I might have just tricked him. Wait a second.
Got 20 seconds. Wait, I have queen of five. Wait. There we go. There we go. Time doesn't matter because there's increment. It takes who loses the queen. Queen H5, okay. Let's close. Let's not see that. Um, um, wait. Wait, why am I thinking so long? What am I doing? Why am I thinking so long? What am I doing? I'm just like, I'm suddenly like dancing and I'm just like, oh, my time is just running out. Of, I'm just running out of time and I'm just dancing. Like, what the heck is wrong with me there? I'm literally just dancing. And I'm thinking I've got like two hours on the clock or something. What is wrong with me? Jeez. Yeah, I, I mean, what is wrong? I'm literally just like, I'm just dancing and vibing. I'm just like, I think I have like five minutes on the clock or something. Yeah, anyway, we got the dub. I must be clear first. No, there were like six other people on, on eight points, I think. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, so Shaq and I are on nine out of 10. Shaq has, oh, Shaq's got a much better tie break, you guys. Uh, so I have to go for broke. Shaq has like, he's got a huge tie break. Look at this tie break, 48 to 40, 175. So you know what? I got to go for the win. I have to beat Shaq. A draw is not going to be enough because in this situation, oh yeah, yeah. Look at, I'm ba I'm down by six tie break points. We got to win, boys. We got to win. We got to win. Because if I draw, I tie for first, but my tie break is, is uh, dog water, to put it mildly. I mean, my tie break is garbage. Okay, let's go here. See what he wants to play. Okay, goes there. I'll go here. I'll castle. Play C5. Interesting. Okay, let's go C4. If I get a slightly bad position, I'll pro I probably will just offer him a draw. But so far, it's so good. He's got knight C5. Wow, D5. I mean, I, I really don't want to blitz moves because this position, if it fizzles, it fizzles really, really fast to where it's just a draw. So I need to be very careful how I use my time here. Knight B6 does not look like the right move. Um, I have bishop f3 for imbalance. I also have just rook c1 and rook c4 maybe with bishop f3. I'm going to go here. Takes. I guess I'll take with the rook. I mean, I want to go like queen c1 and maybe rook d1 or something. See what he does. Very slow. We're going to have a very slow game, though. Let's see. Bishop f3, rook d, rook c8. Queen b3, rook b8, bishop f3. Queen a6, queen a3. Just trying to flatten the board here. I totally see what he's doing. Oh, let's go here. I don't believe him because I can take and just drop back. Or maybe no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Oh, I just blundered too. I just made a blunder. But on the bright side, I blundered, but we but you know what? Did I blunder? But did I blunder? But did I blunder? Let's take the rook. Now I take the pawn. But did I blunt? Oh, oh, I can't take with a bishop. Oh, I'm just an idiot. Let's... Oh, no, I mean, I, I did just blunder, actually. Or did I? No, I have f3, though, maybe. It's weird. I thought I made a clean blunder, but maybe I didn't. And knight c5, like queen d2 or rook d5. Not clear, actually. Not clear at all here. Yeah, like 94, I go f3. Go here. Because he can't take, so I just take. Not so simple here, actually. It's not so simple. Knight c5. So if I move my queen, what is his next move, actually? Because he still can't take, I don't think. 
Okay, let's just go here. Yeah, Shaq just offered me a draw. Like, this is the thing. Like, it's a very weird position here. I'm not actually sure that I'm worse. Okay, I mean, he offers a draw. I mean, I can obviously take and play Rook D5. I don't really like my position. Fine, I'll just give him the draw. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I can't offer him a draw here? I can't offer a draw here? What? Why can't I? I can't offer a draw until next... What? It's not letting me offer a draw here? What? No, but I mean the... Why is it not letting me offer the draw here? I mean, he wins the tournament, but I mean, that's very weird. Let's go here. No, I should have played queen c5 too. It just didn't let me play the offer the draw, which I don't understand at all. Um, that's really weird. Okay. Go here, maybe rook c7. I tried to offer him a draw, but whatever. Let's go here. He's going to lose the pawn. Wait, now. Now don't I have e5? Wait, 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 wait a second. He's starting to make this a little bit messy now. Let's just take go here he checks I go King g1 two I mean of course I can just make the check or go here I can also play like h4 at some point rook b6 bishop c4 rook c6 doesn't look right let's go wait a second what am I doing okay let's just go here I gotta move why am I so slow what am I thinking I'm just so slow suddenly. Okay, let's go check in here. I go a6, a7. I have to move. Why am I thinking? I'm just thinking too long suddenly. I don't know what's wrong with me. There, I guess. I gotta move. Go here. Because now I have rook c7 still. Okay, I guess I'll go... Go here and rook c7 and a7. Yeah, I gave him this, which was a mistake too. Go here. Oh, no, I blundered rook a6. Dude, I should have gone rook c7. What am I doing? <sighs> yeah, I just threw this game so hard. It's so upsetting because he offered the draw, too. Yeah, that's upsetting. Yeah, just upsetting. I let that draw. I let that. I let that draw. No, I, I, I let. I let that draw for ruin the whole thing. Thank you, to X Clockwork. Thank you to Rindu for the four. I let that draw for just ruin my mindset. But he did play well afterwards. I mean, he found good moves. I was still drawing here, though. I think right about here, it was a draw. It was still drawing. I think right up until, right up until this, right up until about here. I blundered Bishop C four. Yeah, even here. No, here it's already losing. I think right at this moment. What did I actually no right here I should have gone G3 F4. That that's what I did wrong. No, if I go G3 F4, I mean I'm still worse, but I probably could have found a swindle to make a draw. Yeah. No, why draw? Yeah, I mean, I probably I mean I could yeah, I shouldn't be that upset because a draw doesn't mean I get first anyway, but it was losing the entire end game. No, but I would have been able to swindle if I had gotten G3 F4. I just A A6 was probably wrong. I should have gone G3 F4 and just waited. But uh, I, I brought the king out too. Let me just 
look at this position right here. I also just blundered right back here. Um, yeah, right here, if I go rook d5. Yeah, rook d5 is a move. Rook d5, rook c5, and I'm probably only slightly worse. Yeah, if I go rook d5, it's it's probably... It's, it's, it's playable. Am I actually even losing if I go rook d5? If I go rook d5, well, now it's already lost. Oh my god, I had bishop a3 here too. Oh, that's actually very poor by me. I should have seen bishop a3. Oh, I should have seen bishop a3. Oh, yeah, that, that's on me. I should have seen bishop a3. I can't... Yeah, I just missed knight d3. That's what happened. I missed knight d3. Just simply missed knight d3. And after that, it's just... Probably there were some chances to make a draw, but I just forgot knight d3 was a move. Should he, I, I also used too long earlier. That's what I wanted. You want to move the rook like a human? Yeah, but I just... I forgot about knight d3 because I knew he couldn't take, but I just forgot he has the in-between knight d3. And that's what it is. Not a big deal. Focus on moving the rook. Yeah, and now it's just, it's just lost. I mean, he's got this annoying bishop e5. Also, I play a4 first. I can also do that. I mean, every everything except what I did was fine. No, I mean, it happens. It happens. No, I mean, it, it, it happens. Oh, a5 was cut off. Yeah. Yeah, I missed bishop a3. This game was... No, this game ups me much more than the draws because I should not have lost this game. Yeah. No, I actually finished fourth. I, I don't even get there because I threw the final game, so I don't get there uh, with tie breaks. I guess I got 100 bucks for fourth. But that still is bad still is bad yeah no final match no I, lo I lost the focus when he offered the draw and then like and he, when he offered the draw I just lost my focus just lost my focus because that's kind of the thing was I figured if I didn't get what I wanted I would offer a draw and then he offered a draw and then I couldn't offer the draw the next half move which by the way I think is a glitch I think that's a, that, I think that's a glitch because I should have been able to offer a draw as soon as I played rook d3 because he offered the draw the half move before so that was that was actually kind of kind of bad but it's what it is it's what it is it's what it's, it's one game in the bigger bigger scheme of things and yeah not meant to be all right i'm gonna play some blitz though because i lost a ton of rating points actually i'll challenge him at blitz i'll try to adopt him um at 3-0 if he wants to play wesley's online too grishuk is online as well i think i'm just gonna keep playing blitz just regular blitz i did adopt him once before i think like nine was it nine one or maybe it wasn't a full adoption but it was close but my rating is down so i'm gonna get back to playing blitz yeah, I beat I beat him nine. Actually, it wasn't an adoption, but I beat him nine one last time we played Blitz seriously. Oh, he wants to play. Okay, no no nonsense. I'm gonna play very serious now. Very serious chess. Go here. Of course, I played a bad opening, like the worst opening I could play. Go here. Go here. Rook c eight, of course. Keep it very simple, very slow, very stable. play knight before I can also go knight d7 knight e4 is reasonable I don't love knight e4 but I think it's probably the safest move to play here doesn't really look like a, a great move um I can play e5 very balanced slowly balanced too with that which I'm not thrilled by either go here I think this is a bad move he's got knight c5 but I have e5 and knight e5 maybe I also have b6 maybe b6 knight a6 i move the knight yeah see now i'm just playing much more slowly the mood music isn't helping the mood of course music isn't helping the mood but that's how it that's how the cookie crumbles uh is he really threatening to take is what i, I figure out here um again i feel like i'm moving too slowly so let's just speed it up this might be a mistake too it feels a little bit loose but i don't see a win for white if he can find a win good for him he goes knight b3 that strikes me as a strange move um thinking too long again let's go a f I think I'm just thinking too long now suddenly every move is just wrong I just it feels wrong I can feel it in my bones and again I what am I got just gotta you just gotta move you just gotta move that's all there is to it just make moves I am down 20 seconds but the position is relatively okay here I could have gone queen d7 too can also okay let's take 
Okay, goes knight there. Okay, I'm just gonna play in the center. I'm just gonna open it up here. Open up everything. Be I mean, I guess he is knight c3. But e4, h5. I mean, a little bit, a little bit spicy here. I assume he'll take. That's just my presumption. Does knight c3? I mean, I guess I just go bishop g7, reactivate the bishop. I probably play h5 or maybe rook c5. Rook c5 actually looks like it's a pretty logical move here. Rook c8 next move. Queen b2 next move. Okay, Shaq finds queen b3, which of course is by far and away the best move. Let's go here. Did I just blunder knight d5. I think I did. Ah, no, I can just take and take and go rook d8. Never mind. I guess I'll pre-move because it's a safe pre-move, kind of. Got rook c5 and bishop e4, which I conveniently forgot about as well. That being said, knight e3 maybe. If takes, I take. If takes, I have rook e8. If takes, I take a rook e8. He's in trouble here. He might be able to draw this, although now he's down on time as well as on the board go here oh he's got rook d7 oh my god how did i forget rook d7 so bad so bad by me how do i do this i guess i'll go i guess i'll play here i do have a4 actually which is a funny threat um funny threat but i'm gonna rotate the bishop now He's got king weaknesses. It's so one thing white does have here is some weaknesses on the king side. He goes there. Okay. Go here. Queen g5, maybe? Actually, let's go here and hit the pawn. Go here. I've got queen b2. He's still safe here if he's smart about how he plays. I'm going to go here. I should have checked first, but whatever. Yeah, I totally bungled this. So let's go check. Go here. I have queen d1, maybe. He's low on time. Do a tickle, tickle. Definitely not giving him a draw. Let's go here. Queen d2, maybe. Go here, I guess. I'm just going to play for the flag as well, as well as the position. Let's go here, king h6. Go here. Playing for all, all the, all the, all everything here. Um, wait a second. Go here. What's his move? I have queen e5. He's got problems on the dark squares too here. Not so simple for white to play. um go here go here line it up okay e5 okay let's go check what am i doing actually I'm going to flag him. What am I doing? go let's go again thank you to julian jz for the three months thank you so much um let's keep going dirty yeah but i mean uh okay yeah not shocking but i mean he also offered a draw and then i tried to offer draw run move later in the in the uh in the event so i don't really have any qualms with that personally and you can call it cheese but i mean he also offered a draw during the during title tuesday let's not forget that